Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to start two new topics, fraction and decimal. As uh, these two topics are very much related to each other, so uh, I am starting together. Uh, without knowing fraction, we can't proceed to decimal. As uh, for understanding decimal, concept of fraction should be clear. So. I'll first start with the fraction and then move on to the next topic that is decimal. And uh, this is an introduction video uh, as it's a past chapter so I have split it uh, into uh, the multiple parts. So let's start part 1 of introduction to fraction and decimal. Okay. What is a fraction? We all know more or less about fraction. Uh, fraction is simply a part of a whole. The whole may be a single object or a group of objects. A fraction is uh, expressed as a number of the form a by b, where a and b are whole numbers and b is not equal to zero. Here a is called the numerator and b is called the denominator of a by b. For example, if I draw a figure like this, you see, if I draw a figure, if I draw a figure like this and if I, let me shade this part. Now, uh, you see, uh, here one out of two parts has been shaded. So, shaded part is equal to, shaded part is equal to one out of two. Since uh, this uh, half represents part of a whole, so according to this definition of fraction, half is a fraction. This is a fraction. In this drawing, I have shown part of a single object. Now I am going to draw a group of objects. Okay, let me draw. I am drawing a collection of objects. Uh, let's uh, think this as a collection of 12 yummy mouth-watering chocolate bars. Okay? And uh, now let me shade a part of this collection. Okay? Look at this. The shaded part is 7 bars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 bars out of 12 bars. So, uh, 7 bars. 7 bars out of 12 bars and uh, since this 7 out of 12 represents uh, this part of uh, this uh, collection of objects so 7 divided by 12 is a fraction according to definition of fraction but uh, I think in this definition of fraction one small part is missing and uh, I am going to show you what is that missing part. Suppose let me draw another figure. Let me draw. Guys please ignore my rough drawing because I am not at all good at drawing. and. Now I'm shading this part. Okay, drawing is done. Now if I ask a handful of students, those who are new to this topic, 
to name the fraction represented by the shaded part then some of them would immediately say yes one part out of three parts is shaded so the fraction will be one by three but we know the answer is not one by three answer is not one by three why why answer is not one by three Actually, we often show students only those examples having holes which are already equally divided and assume that uh, they realize the importance of the parts being equal. But for unequal partitioned figure like this, how can we write in fraction? Yes, in this case, we'll have to make a copy of the uh, this uh, shaded one and then we can show how many pieces of this shaded one will be required to cover this larger figure here you see this uh, shaded portions four shaded portion will be required to cover this figure one two three four and so this um, this shaded part will be one out of four and this is the answer so what have we found from this more precisely the definition of a fraction is one or more of the equal parts of a whole yes equal parts of a whole that means whenever we write a fraction using a numerator and a denominator the denominator has to indicate a number of equal pieces into which a whole can be cut and the numerator is the number of those pieces chosen. So what have we found? When we write a fraction mathematically, fraction is one or more parts of the equal parts of a whole. Okay, so these things we should always remember while learning as well as teaching to others also. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and don't forget to share the video with others. I really need your support guys. And one last update I want to share with you all. We are changing the name of the channel to Cracking Maths with Shufia. Yes, Cracking Maths with Shufia marking an exciting turning point in our YouTube journey. I started the journey hoping to help our students during the first lockdown. But your encouragement has driven the channel to go on even beyond the lockdown. So please leave your feedback regarding the new name and hoping for the best till next time. Stay home, stay safe. Bye.